We're going to go back to our top story now because we have our very own Jasmine Caldwell in Oklahoma. And tonight, for the first time, she caught up with the family, and we are hearing from family members about uh, the, the man, the Cedric Marks. He's the ex-boyfriend of Jenna Scott, the missing temple woman found dead in that grave there. Again, Cedric Marks has not been named a suspect in those deaths. However, his family says he has ties to this tiny town in Oklahoma where we find Jasmine Caldwell. She spoke with the person who lives in that area and also found out who owned the property where those bodies were found. Well, the crime scene tape has been removed, but this is the abandoned property where Michael Swearingen and Jenna Scott were found. Mm. In this quiet backyard in this small Oklahoma town of about 56 people sits the shallow graves where Temple residents Jenna Scott and Michael Swearingen were found. We were very yes. surprised and we didn't want that negativity about our town. Shirley Nero is the local historian uh, here in Clearview. She said the nearly all black town college. is historic in the state of Oklahoma. This was a former agriculture area and a lot of the people that a lot of them worked on these forms that were owned by whites. Lately, she says all anyone can talk about is the bodies found in the backyard. We were shocked. <laughs> we were just really shocked that that could happen here in Clearview. Perfect. That something like that, that how could you get from way down in Temple all the way up here to Oklahoma? But what shocked Nero even more is that her cousin, Cedric Marks, has a connection with Jenna Scott. We, had, we we know him. We, we've seen him. We, he's attended our family reunions and everything. We know his, his, his dad grew up here in Clearview. So we know him. Yes, we do. We have a family reunion every year, once a year in September, Labor Day weekend. Marks is Scott's ex-boyfriend. The property where Scott and Swearing Jen were found belongs to a man named Walter Shannon, who told us he knew nothing about what happened. Nero says Shannon is not a member of their family, and usually everyone knows just about everything that goes on here. It happened in our town, we would know it <laughs> real soon if it was someone, because we know everyone in this town. But she's hoping the thing they didn't know won't overshadow the historic value that Clearview uh, has to offer. We don't have major thefts or anything like that, that this is a place that you can come and, and live in peace. So far, Temple Police have not named any suspects in this case. Reporting in Clearview, Oklahoma, Jasmine Caldwell, Channel 6 News.